Frappy Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 14th Rome Film Fest. I'm in company of Lorraine Scafaria, uh, director of Hustlers. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to finally talk to you after all this time following you and your films, The Meddler and Nick and Nora, I loved it. <laughs> so now, um, Hustlers. So first of all, um, I want to quote the film. This whole city, this whole country is one big strip club, strip club. So I was wondering, was that metaphor one of the reasons that attracted you to, uh, to do the film? Yeah, I mean, I was really excited about the themes that it touched upon, gender as it relates to the economy and women under capitalism, basically. So um, I was interested in speaking to not just women, but anyone who knows what it's like to not have money and um, maybe dance for the money. I certainly danced for the money in order to get the movie made. And so um, I find these women incredibly relatable. and. Maybe not where they ended up, but where they started from, and so, um, so to me, it was, uh, yeah, a, a, a about our times and about what we're valued for and our broken value system and women valued for their beauty and their bodies, whether that's for sex or motherhood, and men being valued for their money, success, and power. And I, I just have empathy for honestly everyone who's trying to navigate this this broken value system, and so. For people who want to stigmatize strippers and think that what they do for a living is so terrible, I, I wanted to bring it back to reality and bring it back to all of us that, that there's a collective experience here and you might, you, you know, if you're not one of the people tossing the money, you're probably one of the people doing the dance. <laughs> the, the film highlights this hypocrisy, you know, that, that the fact that uh, women in this case are first uh, spoiled, they used by the system, but then when they want to use the system to get money, to get, they become suddenly criminals. Mm -hmm. so. That's right, yeah. And I mean, um, there were certainly a lot of criminals involved in the financial crisis, and I think only maybe one of them went to jail or was punished for, for their crimes. Um, I think some people would argue that the punishment for these women maybe wasn't strong enough for what they did, but... Um, I, th I think it's also that, um, you know, we, we want to criminalize women for working in the industry, you know, not just the crimes, but um, in the sex work, you know, we, we, we tend to criminalize women for, um, you know, just operating within the value system that, that is present. And so uh, I'd love to see them be decriminalized and and um, and for certain things to be put in place to make their jobs safer and and easier for them because I mean you know until our value system changes until we're valued for for different things I I, I don't see why why you know men in boardrooms are allowed to do certain things and 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 women on the floor of a strip club aren't Sometimes when a film has been presented like yours at Toronto or some other festivals before doing the interview, I tend to read reviews. Mm -hmm. And one was saying that uh, even if it was a positive um, review, it said that y you didn't create enough backup for this uh, people's stories and actions. And so I wondered, because I don't agree, and I wonder, isn't that the whole point? I mean, in, in a moment of when we're fighting for gender equality, shouldn't be allowed women to even be evil or be villains without having like a strong reason to do so? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that we questioned Henry Hill and Goodfellas, uh, what his motivations were, uh, whether or not he was a good enough father. I don't think that question ever uh, was asked, and I think female characters are, you know, scrutinized the same way that women are in life, and, uh, you know, we're expected to be good all the time, and we're expected to do the right thing. I, I mean, people, you know, said to my face when we were trying to get this movie made, you know, that they expected more from women, and um, and I thought, you know, well, <laughs> I mean, we we make mistakes, and, and we're flawed, and, and I also think we're trying our best, and again, we're up against so much, and to be put under that pressure, to put that pressure on ourselves, to have the world put that pressure on us, and uh, to always do the right thing. I know that there's like a saying that we're supposed to raise our children like we don't have jobs, and we're supposed to do our jobs like we don't have children, and I, you know, I think that's, uh, we kind of do have the short end of the stick a lot of the time, even though things are changing inch by inch. I, 
I still think the expectations are, are there for, for women and certainly for female characters to not make mistakes. And, you know, I think, I think people would have enjoyed a very black and white, down the middle, straightforward um, movie, you know, that's wrapped up in a bow. But to me, you know, the story isn't over, <laughs> not by a long shot. And, um, and it's certainly not, it hasn't been a pretty one all this time. So I was really interested in speaking to, you know, what's going on now by just looking over our shoulders at, at very recent history. Well, last thing, uh, how did you manage to celebrate sisterhood, but at the same time, not to judge these women? Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, all writing is an exercise in empathy. I, I just, uh, that's how I see it. I, I don't, I don't judge the women for what they do. I don't judge the men for going into these clubs. I, I you know, what's hard is, like, can you even blame what happened in the financial crisis when, when men are valued for their money, success, and power, when they're when greed is rewarded, when they're told that, the, that they're only worth the size of their bank accounts, is it any wonder that, that something like that happens? So um, I just approach everything with empathy. I certainly don't judge these women. Um, you know, I know the difference between right and wrong. I think we all know the difference between right and wrong. Um, so I at no point was trying to say that you know, wrong was right, but I wanted to tell that fuller story and, and see the big picture. And um, so, yeah, I, 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 I don't judge. And um, what was your other, there was another word you used. Celebrate, that, celebrate sisterhood. Yes, I, I um, the female friendship for me was what the movie was really built up on and, and um, stripping like life <laughs> can be a team sport or a solo sport and so you see Destiny's character in that solo sport for a little while before she meets Ramona and gets taken under her wing and then is there in the locker room with all these other girls and that sisterhood and that camaraderie is so important to um, certainly their jobs and psyching each other up but I think all of us actually you know so in a way, it was a, a celebration of how we're all, we all have a collective experience, even though we're all very different women, we all have different, you know, hurdles to get, to jump over before we are all out of breath at the starting line. <laughs> I think there's a collective experience that I, I, I did want to celebrate and also celebrate how much we can, you know, build each other up instead of tear each other down. Thank you so much, Lorraine Scafaria, for being with us and talk about uh, the Asler, Aslers. <laughs> Thank you so much. And this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 14th Rome Film Fest for Fred, the Festival Insider.